Hi there and welcome to the channel. So in today's video we are going to be going through a very easy basic setup of hydroponics using the Cracky method. So if you've been thinking about trying hydroponics and just not sure where to start or find it maybe a little bit overwhelming all the things that you need to know and do to get it set up in this video I'm going to show you a very easy very basic setup just using some jars from around your house some nutrients and some seeds and a few other items that'll get you going quickly growing herbs lettuces and other plants I also have some exciting news to share, so stay tuned till the end of the video to find out all about it. Let's get started. So here where I live on the prairies in Saskatchewan, Canada, the winter season is upon us. The outdoor season ended about a month ago, and I have about six or seven months of staying indoors, unable to grow anything outside because it is just too cold. So indoor hydroponics has been a wonderful thing that I have enjoyed in the winter seasons. It is something you can do year round if you like. But if you want to just try to keep your thumbs green all winter long while you're waiting for it to warm up outside and get outdoors, this kind of a hydroponic setup is a really fun way to grow a whole bunch of different things. So when I first got into hydroponics, I started off by growing some lettuces and herbs. So I have a couple romaine lettuces that have done well. Herbs that grow well in this system are pretty much any variety. I have dill, parsley, basil, thyme, oregano. Any of those can grow well in one of these setups. But it doesn't have to stop there with, you know, edible type vegetables and herbs. You can try other things, which is what I'm going to be doing today. I have some different things that I want to try growing in this method. Uh, one of them being lavender. I just think it'd be kind of nice to have a fragrant plant like a lavender growing indoors. See how that works out. I've also started a eucalyptus, which is something that is very slow to grow outdoors and pretty much impossible to grow in a cold, uh, short outdoor season here where I live. So I'm going to try getting a eucalyptus growing. I'm going to try some mint. And the other thing that I'm going to start today is some rosemary. Rosemary is also very slow to germinate and, you know, kind of a slow growing herb, but also makes a beautiful house plant. So I'm going to try starting that today. So the method of hydroponics that I'm going to be showing you today is called the crack key method or passive method. So what that means is you don't have any pumps or electricity running um, air stones or anything inside your vessel. Basically, we're going to Mix up some nutrient water, put it into these different containers, start our seeds in this net cup here using a couple little items that I'm going to go through with you. Then once those seedlings start sprouting in the next couple of weeks, they will go under grow lights and hopefully we will have some really nice plants over the winter. So the nutrients that I'm going to be mixing up here is a two-part method. This brand that I'm using here is called Root Farm. And there are a lot of different brands and varieties of what we call the two-part nutrient method. Sometimes they come with something like an arrow garden system where you get the nutrients and they're called A and B. You'll see that a lot online if you're searching for this product. Sometimes they have a brand name like the Root Farm here. But basically it's two parts that you're going to be mixing into a container like this. So whatever brand you're using, always just follow. There's usually a chart on the back that shows you the measurements. There's usually different stages that you would follow based on what you're doing. So we are setting up seedlings. So we're going to follow the directions and the measurements for seedlings. So I've already mixed up my nutrients in this four liter container or one gallon container. I have a lot of these. I always save my vinegar jugs because they make great containers to mix up nutrients. Make sure you have it identified as nutrient water so you don't get mixed up with plain water. And then I just put on here that this blend of nutrients is for the seedling stage. So let me show you how you get your seeds started in these net cups. So I have got three inch net cups set up here ready to start our seeds in. And what I've done is I've taken some of these hydrogen clay balls, filled it up, not quite to the surface, but 
you know, left about an inch or so at the top. And then we need some kind of a growing medium to put our seeds in so that they can sprout and have kind of something to grab onto and then start growing down through the bottom of the net cup and come out the bottom. So that process usually takes anywhere, if it's lettuces, they can sprout within a couple days. Some of these things we're trying today, like the lavender and the rosemary might take a few more days to sprout. So as far as the growing medium that you want to use, I have some rock wool in here, and that is something that you can purchase online or pick up at a hydroponic store or one of your greenhouses. Basically, they are little cubes of rock wool here that hold and retain water really well, and they usually come with a small little hole in there to put your seeds in. So I don't usually use the whole cube like this. It isn't totally necessary to get the seeds going. What I like to do is just soak one of these cubes in water so that it's good and wet. And then I just take it and rip it up into small pieces. That way one of these cubes goes a lot further. So you don't necessarily have to purchase rock wool to get your seeds started. Different things like cotton balls or pieces of cheesecloth. A little piece of cheesecloth could sit here on the clay balls. I have also got some hemp cloth here that I use for growing microgreens. You can cut little pieces of that as well and set it on top. So it's something you can just look around your house and maybe you have something that will work well for starting your seeds. So I chose the three inch because they fit well into such things as these dill pickle jars. These are Bix pickle jars. They work great for three inch net cups. As long as you can find something to cover it so that it um, blocks out all the light. Something as simple as tin foil can be used. I found this black bag here that fit over top. A large tube sock or some kind of cloth will also work. This is my eucalyptus that I already have started. And I just used a, some cloth here and some Mod Podge glue. Just adhered this whole piece of cloth around the jar like this. And that just adhered it really well. It sticks good. It blocks out the light also kind of looks nice as well. So as you can see, my eucalyptus is going here. I got some roots already coming out the bottom and they are reaching that nutrient water in the jar and really taking off and my plant is starting to really grow now. So once you got your net cup set up with some clay balls and a piece of rock wool or other material, you're ready to put your seeds in there. So want to make sure you have it marked properly. I usually put two or three seeds in just to make sure that we get germination. Sometimes you don't get very many of these seeds depending on what you're growing. So the lavender seeds are pretty tiny. Try to make it so you can see. I'm just going to be setting the seeds on top of the rock wool. Try to spread them out a little bit. This is the mint seeds, which are also very, very tiny, and you don't get a whole lot of them, so be careful. I will just sprinkle those mint seeds on top of the rock wool here. I think I got about four or five on there. Sometimes you get two or three plants going really well, and then if they are starting to kind of struggle and compete with each other, you can thin them out later, but I always just leave them until they are really well established before thinning anything out. Again, I've got about five or six lavender seeds here. They're super tiny. I'll just sprinkle them across the rock well. So that's basically how we are going to plant up our seeds right now. This rock well has got lots of moisture in it, but you want to make sure that it retains that moisture. So you want to cover it right now until it germinates and starts sprouting with some kind of a plastic dome that will keep that moisture in. These are just plastic shot glasses you could get at the dollar store. I have a lot of these also from different DWC systems or aero garden systems that I have. Just going to set it over top. So until these germinate and sprout and get past that two leaf stage, you really don't need to have them under any grow lights. You can put them under a cover to keep them out of the light totally or just set them somewhere out of direct sunlight until they germinate. 
The things that you want to keep doing is make sure that that Rockwell stays moist. So I just spritz it with a spritzer bottle and you can put a little bit of water in the bottom of this tray just to keep the moisture level up and just check it daily till you see some germination and some sprouting. So if indoor hydroponics is something you're interested in learning more about, I'm excited to announce that I have an online course that is going to be ready to launch in just a couple weeks. And in that course, I'm going to be taking you through step by step from start to finish, showing you how to grow lettuces in a container like this. And in 30 days, you'll have some beautiful lettuces such as this that you can harvest and enjoy. So it'll be a detailed course that will show you how to get set up, the equipment that you need, how to get the seed started in more detail, how to mix up nutrients, how to check the pH and the EC levels of your water. We will also be monitoring the growth of the lettuce from day one all the way to harvest so that you can enjoy lettuces that you have grown yourself. So to get in on that introductory price, be sure to click on the link below to subscribe to my little garden newsletter so that you are one of the first to be notified when the course is ready to launch. So I have my setup here out of direct sunlight and I will just keep checking on these daily, give the rock wool a spritz to make sure it stays moist, add a little water to the bottom. And as I mentioned, once these sprout and germinate and start pushing those domes off, Time to move them under the grow lights. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up on the progress of these plants that I am starting using the Cracky Hydroponic Method. And if you want to help my channel, please hit that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the Little Garden Newsletter. Thanks for watching.